my channel please ignore the noise in the background it is my puppy luna she is right here under the table messing around anyway i am going to film a diy ombre hair tutorial for you all one of my recent hair dye videos got over a million views which is insane and i just want to thank you all so much for watching it and enjoying it and asking me questions and things so i thought i would film another hair dye tutorial but this time i'm going to be doing an ombre my original video i did a split hair you might have seen it i'll put a link below if not and i did half blue and half turquoise today i'm going to be doing a blue ombre into an indigo so like a purpley shade now you might be thinking the girl in the box looks really similar to you and that's because this is me here's a closer look so this is a new shade from colorista l'oreal hair have brought out a whole new there's someone drilling in the background which is really annoying i'm very sorry for that i will try to not get much of it in. Um, so L'Oreal have released a massive hair dye range called Colorista. I was part of it last year. I kind of went to shoots. I hopefully in one of their TV ads. I did lots of digital content with them. And also they put me on one of their boxes. So here is my face. I'm the face of Indigo Shade. And yeah, I absolutely love this collaboration. I think it's such a cool idea because for me, I'm all about doing my own hair at home and that's what this is about. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to use it. But also, I've got the Poseidon shade from Arctic Fox. Now, they sent me this to try out. I have never used Arctic Fox before, but I'm really excited. And also because I've not really done much blue coloured hair before um i've kind of mainly done greens but in the last sort of six months or so i've been doing more blues and i really like it so i'm really eager to see how this comes out so i'm gonna do the poseidon arctic fox into the indigo shade so all you need are obviously the hair dye i've got some gloves i've got a mixing bowl and a brush and then i've also got a comb as well just in case as you can see i'm wearing this pink jumper which was featured in my last video a lot of you have asked where it's from it's from rad it's my hair dung jumper i've had it for years and it went a bit bobbly and so i just thought i'd wear it as my hair dung jumper as you can see i've got like bits of bleach and blue splodges over it so i know a lot of you are like r.i.p to your jumper but you know you have to have a some sort of hair dyeing outfit anyway let's go so i'm just going to start by combing my hair through now sometimes on the back of these bottles it says to put the dye over wet hair now you can if you want to you don't have to you can do dry in my last video i did wet hair but that's because i just filmed me bleaching my hair so my hair was quite damp um but that was just because i was trying to film loads of videos in, on one day but today i'm going to be putting it over dry hair just because i want it to last a little bit longer a lot of you commented in my last video saying that i shouldn't have left the dye on for like half an hour I should have left it on for longer yes i know you can leave it on for as long as you want because it's not got any ammonia in it but I am a YouTuber and I like to create videos and I like to change my hair quite often. So the least amount of time I leave it on my hair means it fades quicker and I can change it up more often so I can film cool videos for you guys. But I'm gonna leave this one on just a little bit longer also because I wanna get a really nice blend between the blue and the purple. So let's go. So before I start, I'm gonna make sure I lay a towel down because sometimes I get it everywhere. And I'm working on my dining room table right now, so I don't really want to ruin it. Right. I'm going to be starting with the Arctic Fox shade. So I'm going to get this ready in my bowl. Right. It's probably enough in there. Get the gloves on. Some. 
Now because I've got ombre hair, I'm going to be going to about here with the blue. Then I'll have like a little section where it will blend and then it'll go straight into the purple. So here it goes. As you can see, I am just working the blue from my roots to sort of about three quarters of the way down my hair. And I'm just leaving that space so I can blend in the indigo shade. The back's a little tricky, but it's getting there. So I'm just gonna make sure all of the blue is covered on my roots and the top half of my hair. Just gonna gently sort of massage it in. You can also use your comb at this point as well if you wanna blend it a bit better. blue done and now I'm going to move over to my shade of indigo colorista before you wash your brush before you move on to the next color I'm gonna use a different bowl now because I want to just keep some of the blue just in case I need to use it to blend so let's go I'm also going to change my gloves as well because I've got too much of the blue on them so I can start fresh with a new pair. Literally just going to brush it on my ends and then I'll just blend it over the blue a little bit and then I'll show you what we do later on with finishing this look off. to blend the colours a little bit more just because I don't want any patches now I'm just using the indigo shade just to go back over the bottom bits just because I want to make sure they come out purple So once I'm happy with the blend, I'm just gonna section my hair and just sort of stick it to my head and hope it stays. <laughs> I have made a massive mess. I've got hair dye all over my neck. So I'm gonna make sure I rub that off now because if I don't, it will probably stain and take a few days to come off and we don't want that. And also down my parting as well milk can actually get it off but because it's still wet I might be able to just rub at it but just remember when you wash it out to really get in with your scalp and get the color out because obviously it does stain cool so I'm gonna leave this on for about I reckon 45 minutes this 
Indigo Colorista, I think says to leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, the Arctic Fox says 30 minutes. So I'm gonna leave it on for about 45 minutes just because I want a nice intense color. And I kind of fancy having this last a little bit longer than my split hair dye that I recently did. So I will show you the finished look when it's washed out. So this is my hair washed out. I'm pretty pleased with the outcome. It's not like a strong ombre, it's more subtle, but I quite like it. It's a bit difficult with short hair getting ombre, I find, just because you can't have two big sections, whereas obviously if your hair's a lot longer, you could have like a really nice long ombre section. But yeah, I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. And yeah, it doesn't look patchy or anything. Both of the colors seem to work really well on my hair, especially because I do have a band around here where the bleach from my previous time I dyed my hair it just was a bit brassy but the blue looks like it's taken quite well so yeah so i'm really really pleased you can see in the light that it goes blue to like a purpley indico so yeah so love the results i'm just going to style my hair now and i'll show you what it looks like when it's done <laughs> It. this is the finished look I really hope you enjoyed watching this video just to finish my hair off I just quickly crimped it with some straighteners so yeah I really really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please like and subscribe to my channel peace out